Hey everyone, today I'm reviewing the 24th James Bond film, Spectre. This is Daniel Craig's fourth Bond movie and possibly his last. So Spectre sees uh, James Bond going rogue and uh, kind of his investigation leads him to the criminal organization known as Spectre. And also he makes some revelations about his past. So I have to say, before I saw this film, I was really hyped about it. I love James Bond movies and this movie looked great. Then I read some reviews and my expectations went way down. So when I actually got to see the movie, I loved it. Uh, there, this is a great James Bond film. It's really well shot. Uh, the action is fantastic. There's never a point where, you know, the action scenes, the fighting scenes, where you're confused about, I don't understand what's going on. You know, it's, it's really well directed. You, you understand what's going on if you pay attention. It's, it's just really well done. The action scenes just are great. They're probably some of the best action scenes in a Bond movie to date. They're great. And, you know, Daniel Craig is great in this as well. Everybody in this is is great. Uh, you know, there's also a subplot with with M and um, oh, I can't remember his name, but uh, the actor that played Maury Arty in the um, BBC Sherlock series with Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, he's a great actor and, and he, he did a, a fairly good job in this um, movie. And um, I thought that subplot was going to be kind of boring, but it was actually interesting and tied in with the overall plot. So I, I really like that. Um, also, this is this was a lot more fun than the, the past few movies. The past few movies have been kind of more darker, grim, and uh, with this one, they just kind of had more fun with it. It was it was a bit lighter, and I like that. I, I really like that. I would say a lot of the um, issues that people have with this film, I agree with. I think it is a tad bit too long. Uh, the villain in it, a lot of people have said that he wasn't in it enough, which I can understand where they're coming from. I personally think that they, that was more of an intentional thing they were trying to build his character up so just kind of had him more as a shadowy figure um so I, I i think that was intentional i could be wrong uh but you know that that's what i think um also i think that the biggest problem at least for me in this film that what what, what is a cool thing that they do is they make this this film kind of tie up and connect to all the previous Daniel Craig Bond films, which works really well, but they also try to have it be this big emotional thing for Bond, and that never really pays off. There's never really this big emotional connection. It's like they want it to be there, but I just I just didn't didn't see it. It didn't come off that way. To me, it was just kind of like there it is and we're moving on <laughs> they just kind of glossed over it which is a real shame because they that could have been a, a great you know character moment for james bond but they, they they didn't dwell on that it was just more of like okay let's get on with the action let's get on with with the film and i mean i think it does hurt the film but i think a lot of people are being way too harsh on specter in many ways, Spectre is a victim of Skyfall's success because in every single review I've read, it's like, well, it's no Skyfall. You know, Skyfall was better. It, it was, it's just everybody saying that. And Skyfall was a fantastic Bond movie. Spectre is a great Bond movie. Yes, it's not as good as Skyfall, but it's still a damn good Bond movie. It has its flaws, but if you go in just expecting to be entertained you're gonna have fun with it so i would definitely recommend specter all right guys as always like the video share it and subscribe till next time